It says German tank on a road in the woods. Very interesting. I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. So guys, we're at the Schindler's factory from Schindler's List at the moment. You remember that movie, right? Um, it was obviously not based on fiction, it was a real thing. And we're at the original factory uh, in Krakow at the moment. And it's very interesting. Have a look through here. You can look at original pictures that were taken back then. Don't know how much you can actually see. If we zoom in a bit maybe, yeah, that's better. And uh, it tells you on the outside what you're looking at. Let's have a look up here. It says uh, Austria, the Anschluss of Austria. And then you can look in there and see an actual picture from the day that it happened. That's very cool. I think you can see, uh, I don't know what that is, um, is it passports? Original ones. Ah, cool, and here they have an original stamp machine. By the way. By the way? Oh yeah, sorry. So if you would go to work, right? Yeah. Then you could probably get a stamp. That is awesome. This is the roku około 1200 więźniów obozu Brunitz zostało wyzwolonych przez armię W 1947 roku fabryka przemikowej 4 została upaństwowiona. Następnie pomieszczenia zajęły państwowe zakłady radiotechniczne. Przekształcone później zakłady wytwórcze pod zespołów telekomunikacyjnych ten.
This is very cool too, they have a touch screen and you can actually like access information here about certain events and if you want to look, have a look at it uh, up there, you can do that as well. You can like um, get the pictures up there, obviously higher resolution looks better, like this. And then you have a little subtitle, a little caption here as well. This is a German motorized artillery on its way to the front, reproduced from Wirzogen gegen Polen, München. I don't really know what that is. From 1940. Post boxes from back then. With actual letters. It says Gebührenfrei, that means free of charge. And it has a stamp on it with an actual swastika and Hakenkreuz. It's creepy. Okay guys, I don't think this would be allowed in Germany to hang that up. In any museum they wouldn't do that. But here in Krakow it's obviously a different story. But in Germany you're not allowed to have stuff like that up, not even in video games or something else. And I don't even know if I can show this in this video, but I guess for the sake of being here I will. It says, an die jüdische Bevölkerung in Krakow. Auf die jüdische Bevölkerung der Stadt Krakau wurde die Pflicht des Verschüttens sämtlicher sich im Bereich der Stadt Krakau befindlichen Flugzeuggraben auferlegt. Die Arbeit muss bis 48 Stunden vollzogen werden. Infolgedessen fordert der einstweilige Vorstand der jüdischen Kulturgemeinde die gesamte jüdische Bevölkerung der Stadt Krakau auf, diese Arbeit sofort auszuführen. Jeder ist verpflichtet, sich möglichst mit Schaufeln und Krampen Freitag am 22. September 1939 Ab 5.30 Uhr früh vor dem Gebäude der jüdischen Kulturgemeinde Krakau, Krakow, Krakowska 41 zu melden. Niemand darf sich dieser Arbeit entziehen. Einstweiliger Vorstand der jüdischen Kulturgemeinde in Krakau. That pretty much means that um, they were told to come to a certain place at a certain day and to work, the, all the Jews in, in Krakow. And they were not allowed not to come. And um, yeah, that's, that's a poster from that time, that's really interesting. And here's a, an order about um, the ownership of weapons, like that you are not allowed to have weapons, obviously, that you're supposed to give them to um, the military officers. And this says, an die Bevölkerung von Krakau. Um eine Verbreitung der lebensgefährlichen Erkrankung der schwarzen Blatternpocken zu verhüten, wird die Bevölkerung aufgefordert, sich freiwillig der Blattschutzimpfung zu unterziehen. Säuglinge und Personen über 40 Jahre müssen geimpft werden. That means um, that you're supposed to get a shot for this, or like an immunity shot, so that you don't get sick, because they were, uh, were having an ep epidemic there at this time. This is an order from the doctor, pretty much. And here it says that you're not allowed to listen to other radio stations from other countries. Es ist Verordnung betreffend des Verbots des Abhörens fremder Sender. Aufgrund der mir übertragenen vollziehenden Gewalt erlasse ich für meinen Zuständigkeitsbereich folgende Verordnung. Das absichtliche Abhören fremder Sender ist verboten. Zur Wiederhandlung werden mit Zu Zuchthaus bestraft. Die benutzten Empfangsanlagen werden eingezogen. Wer Nachrichten ausländischer Sender, die geeignet sind, der Widerstandskraft des deutschen Volkes zu gefährden, vorsätzlich verbreitet, wird mit Zuchthaus in schweren Fällen mit dem Tode bestraft. They would uh, execute people who listen to different radio stations from other countries or put them in jail. Die Bestimmungen dieser Verordnung gelten nicht für Handlungen, die in Ausübung des Dienstes vorgenommen werden. Uh, there was an exception when you do your job and then have to listen to those radio stations, then it was all right. But only then. Die Verordnung tritt mit sofortiger Wirkung in Kraft. Der Chef der Zivilverwaltung. It's interesting. Obviously in Polish as well.
It says um, Juden eintritt in die Parkanlagen verboten. That means that Jews weren't allowed to visit the park here in Krakow. It's really bad. Obviously, I, you know all this stuff, but just wanted to mention it. These are pictures taken by German soldiers sightseeing in Krakow. Pretty much, uh, people weren't allowed to uh, be like intellectual. <laughs> they were only uh, allowed to educate themselves to a certain extent, and um, they like what you can hear here. Uh, like excerpts from either a movie or I don't I think it must be a movie or something like that but um, they are saying how uh, the university has continued to give lessons and that they won't allow that and all that stuff